Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you one of my favorite dishes that I grew up with and that's uh, beetroot sambar. Uh, it was my dad's favorite and he used to make it every Sunday along with some hot steamed rice topped with ghee. And today I'm going to show you just like how my dad made it and how I've learned it as well. So let me just dive right in and show you how to make this dish. So to begin making the beetroot sambar, first I'm going to be cooking the beetroot along with some tamarind water and some onions in, and the sambar powder into my pressure cooker. So I'm going to go ahead and add the tamarind water into the pressure cooker. And then I have these baby onions, the sambar onions, which I've quartered it. I'm going to add it in. And then the chopped beetroot. Salt. Turmeric powder. the homemade sambar powder. Just give it a stir and I'm going to pressure cook it for about um, three to four whistles and then turn off the heat and you can either release the pressure immediately or uh, allow the pressure to release naturally um, because the beetroot will be cooked in three whistles. Just going to go ahead and cover the pressure cooker and we'll wait for the whistle. So after three to four whistles, I release the pressure immediately and I'm going to ready to open the pressure cooker. And it looks cooked. Just going to press it in and yes, the beetroot looks cooked and this is just perfect. So now what I'm going to do is to mix in the dal and add in some water and give it a brisk boil. So I have some cooked tur dal over here which I cooked, soaked it for about 30 minutes and pressure cook it for about three to four whistles and once it was done, I mashed it well. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add in the dal. To this, I'm going to add in the water. And adjust the consistency of the water to how you like your sambar to be. At home, we like it a little more thicker and then the regular. So I'm going to turn on the heat now and allow it to come to a brisk boil. And while it is boiling, I'm going to give it the tadka and then pour it over the dal, okay? Preheated my pan for giving the tadka and to this I'm going to add in a little bit of oil, add in the mustard seeds and allow it to crackle, cumin seeds, some broken red chilies and some curry leaves, we'll tear it and add it. And um, one of the most important ingredients that goes into a sambar is the perengayam, okay? And it's important to use a good quality perengayam and I always believe in that because it adds in the delicious flavors to it. And here is the SSP perengayam, which is the esopatita or the hing, uh, which has no Arabic gum in it. So if you just use like a pinch of it, it becomes really strong. So I'm just going to be adding like a couple of pinches. And this shaker bottle is really useful because um, it's got a small hole in there and then you can just add in the pinch that you want. Okay, so, so I'm just going to add a pinch, a few pinches. I think that's good. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour this over my sambar. And, uh, and boil it along with the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some sambar into this tadka mixture and, and then add it into the sambar. So this way all the hing and all the um, cumin seeds and mustard seeds, everything will just come into the sambar and that's it. So I'm going to now add in some chopped coriander leaves, give it a taste, see if you need any more water. Give it a taste, see if you need any more salt and adjust to your taste accordingly, right? So that's it. So it's been boiling and it looks good. The sambar is done and I can't wait to serve it along some hot steamed rice topped with ghee and some papad. The last thing is the coriander leaves right now. Do give this recipe a try. When you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below because I'll always be looking to hear back from you. Until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.